everybody, it's Delilah and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys and it's all about pregnancy clothing hacks or maternity clothing hacks and tricks and things that I've learned along the way that help to save me lots and lots of money in clothing and help to prevent me from having to buy a bunch of maternity clothing that I'm only going to wear for a short time in my life. So I thought I would share these tips and tricks with you guys and hopefully they are helpful and useful to you. I should also mention that if you are watching this, that means I have already had my baby. I am pre-filming videos so that I don't have to worry about that for a little while after baby comes. I can just sort of sit back and relax. So if you're wondering why exactly I'm uploading a pregnancy video after I've already had my baby, that is why. Before I get into this, I actually want to just show you guys my closet real quick. I have very little clothes. As you can see, those two shirts there, plus the one that I was wearing when I was filming this video, are the only ones that I can wear at the moment. I do have a couple of tank tops that still sort of fit, but they are getting quite short because my belly is growing so much. But I have two shirts, I have two dresses that I can wear, I have like two maxi skirts, like three pairs of pants, and that's including sweats, and obviously a few cardigans. But that is pretty much the only thing I can wear, that whole section of clothes that you see there, like all those shirts, those are things that don't fit me anymore. I have been making do with very little clothing, but I still have many outfits that I can wear, so I wanted to share with you guys the things that I've been learning and doing to save money when it comes to clothing. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that I have been absolutely loving and wearing a lot, especially in winter and the transition into spring. It's using maxi skirts in different ways. So obviously you can wear maxi skirts just like normal. They're very comfy especially with the big pregnant belly because most maxi skirts fit underneath the belly. I've been loving them a lot and I've been finding them to be a lot more comfortable to wear than pants. But something that I learned from somebody else on YouTube, I can't remember where I found it. If you take a maxi skirt and hike it up over top of your belly, it gives you a whole new look, a whole new array of possibilities and things that you can wear the skirt with and different ways to dress it up. It's especially nice for the springtime and a little bit into summer because it raises the skirt up so that it is not covering all the way down to your feet so your legs are a little bit exposed, you get some more air in, it's a little bit more breezy. I've been absolutely loving this and I've been wearing it a lot throughout this whole pregnancy. This one sort of has to do with that last one, but it's repurposing your old shirts that no longer fit, that are too small, or maybe just not very flattering anymore. Those loose, super loose shirts and those really small, tight ones. This is a way that you can reuse those shirts while you're pregnant and you can continue to wear them throughout your pregnancy. So what I really like to do, and I do this so often, is when I put my maxi skirt above my stomach, I'll take one of those shirts and either wear it just underneath my maxi skirt um, so that it hides my belly if the shirt is too small, or I will take it out from underneath the maxi skirt and tie it in either a knot or use a hair tie to sort of tie a bun into the shirt. And this just creates like a whole new look. It's basically like a DIY make your own dress type of thing. Or if you have any really short crop tops, this will look really good with that as well. It's a really great hack that I discovered somewhere along the way and I have been doing it so often. And it's so great because then you don't have to go out and buy new things. You can just wear the same shirt that you've been wearing previously but in a whole new way. Uh, this next one has actually saved me so much money. Throughout this whole pregnancy, I have not bought any maternity jeans, any maternity leggings, no maternity pants whatsoever. And a big part of it is due to this hack, actually. I will link the video down below where I discovered this hack. 
but it requires taking an old pair of jeans that you had or your favorite pair of jeans that you loved but no longer fit into and simply you cut out the pocket, the front pockets of those jeans and replace it with um, a stretchy elastic band. The band is really, really cheap. I actually mentioned it in one of my vlogs, I think, when I went to go find it. But I bought just a little piece like this big and I could make two pairs of pants out of that and they've lasted me throughout this whole pregnancy. Um, I think this piece of fabric cost me like $8, so I saved myself so much money just buying that and sewing it into my jeans rather than buying maternity jeans that I can only wear when I'm pregnant. Um, so I've been loving this hack and I think it's actually really quite cute and yeah, I've, it's been great. So I'll leave the link to that video down below. It's really easy to make them and yeah, I highly recommend it. Something that I really struggled with uh, about the 20 week mark of pregnancy is my belly was sort of at the stage where all my clothes just looked really frumpy on me because all my life I've dealt with bloating issues so I've learned how to dress in order to hide my stomach and I found that when I got pregnant those loose fitting shirts that I used to wear all the time just looked really frumpy and not very nice and I wanted to show off my stomach because I'm obviously very proud of this little child inside of me and I wanted to show it off so something that I had to kind of learn and figure out was to get rid of those loose shirts because they're not very flattering especially around the second trimester they're just not very flattering they hang loose over the belly and just uh, made me feel very frumpy and not put together and yeah so I went to Walmart and I bought a few t-shirts and a few tank tops that were super basic like the $5 plain t-shirts, tank tops, and I made sure to get them in a smaller size, I guess. Um, I know people so often say to get them, to get shirts in a bigger size when you're pregnant, but I actually got them in a smaller size because I was so used to just wearing oversized shirts and sort of tucking them in and sort of making them work to hide my belly. But this time I bought, I guess, shirts that actually would fit me, like my actual size. They were so much more flattering, they were tighter fitting. To be honest, I don't know if this is making any sense, but those shirts lasted me up until like a couple weeks ago. I still could fit into them now, but I do have to constantly pull them down because my belly is getting a little bit big, but they'll last right up until like halfway through your third trimester. So I would highly recommend just going out and buying super cheap, super basic shirts um, that are tighter fitting and not super loose. They'll last for so long and then you can wear them after your pregnancy as well. I'm sure lots of you probably already have those basic shirts in your closet already. If you do, that's great. You should continue to wear them because they will work for you for a long time. This one kind of shocked me a little bit when I first started wearing them and that is dresses. I have become so much of a dress person. It is so weird because I never used to be. Like I hated wearing dresses. They just, I don't know, I don't know why to be honest. I was just never a dress person. Now I found that they are just so easy. Like it's a one piece. You don't have to look for pants and a shirt and a cardigan or you know, but it's just like a one-stop shop and you just Put it on and you're good and it's so comfortable it makes it easier to go to the bathroom because you don't have to pull down your pants they're just so comfortable also on the topic of dresses i have not bought any maternity dresses at all i personally think they're quite unnecessary to be honest because they're very expensive and i mean i'm sure lots of them you can wear after pregnancy as well but i find that to be a waste of money to be honest because i can go to like walmart or old navy which is actually where i got my my two favorite dresses that I've been wearing a lot lately and just get a like a stretchy tight fitting dress or a looser dress that you can like tie a belt around above your stomach to create an empire waist or I actually kind of like the look of a sort of like the t-shirt dress style but with a pregnant belly it actually looks pretty cute um, so I would highly recommend just going to like Walmart or Old Navy finding a super cheap dress and you'll be able to wear it after pregnancy, during pregnancy, they're so comfy and yeah, they've been pretty much my favorite thing, especially in summer. Something that makes 
absolutely no sense to me is pregnancy cardigans. How are they any different from a regular cardigan? This is something that you should absolutely not invest in. Do not buy pregnancy cardigans unless it's like super on sale or something because cardigans are something that you can wear if you're pregnant or not pregnant. They obviously don't come over your belly or anything, but I have been absolutely loving wearing cardigans because they just add so much more to a basic outfit. I've been wearing lots of very basic outfits just leggings or jeans and then a plain t-shirt so then a cardigan is a really great way to dress up any outfit and just make you look a lot more put together but do not go out and buy pregnancy uh, cardigans like I just I don't get it something else that I've been wearing lots and lots is leggings and low-rise shorts these are the most comfy thing to wear while you're pregnant because they're comfy, they're stretchy, uh, you do not have to buy pregnancy ones. I know a lot of people who really love their pregnancy leggings, but I have been wearing my same leggings that I've had since before pregnancy all the way up until now. I'm, I'm wearing them today. Like, they're, they still fit, they're comfy, they're stretchy. Um, I don't really understand the point in going out and buying new ones, unless you need new ones anyway, but just low-rise loose shorts and stretchy leggings are great. With all of these things that I've been talking about, you can very easily get through your entire pregnancy without having to buy any maternity clothing. If you make those DIY maternity jeans and wear leggings and maxi skirts and dresses, and then when your shirts are getting too small, then you can start repurposing them and tying them above your belly and wearing the maxi skirt above your belly. You can very easily get through a whole pregnancy without buying maternity clothes. But if you do feel like you absolutely need to, um, I would recommend going to Old Navy or Walmart. I actually got three uh, maternity shirts online at Old Navy. Um, they're very comfy, very basic. I just bought the cheapest ones I could find, just very neutral colors so that I could wear them with anything. And I can most likely wear these after pregnancy as well. So if you really want to buy maternity clothes, then I would recommend going to Old Navy or Walmart or something like that. I guess Target too if you live in the States, but in Canada we don't have Target. So Target, Walmart, Old Navy, those are great places to shop if you really, really want to invest in some. And lastly, when all else fails, you can always go into your partner's closet and wear one of their shirts because they're big, they're comfy, they'll fit, and they probably have a whole bunch of shirts that they never wear anyway. I know my husband does, so for those days when I just don't feel like trying, or those days when I'm just at home, go into his closet and I'll find a shirt that I want to wear and it's just, it's the comfiest thing. It's comfy, it's easy, and a great option when you're running out of clothes, when all of your own clothes are dirty and you have nothing else to wear. So that is everything for this video. I hope that this was helpful to you in at least some way. It gave you some ideas. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I will leave my link down below to my Instagram. I'll be posting lots of baby stuff on there, so definitely check it out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!